Hey everyone, in this video, I will discuss uh, how to execute these uh, pretty popular hugging face model called GPT Neo 2.7b. Uh, this is one of the relatively large ones. So, uh, right now, I'm looking at the official page of this model, GPT Neo 2.7b. And if I go to the files uh, tab, uh, we can see that uh, the models are almost 10 GB in size. So, I have got uh, this PyTorch one that I'm going to use, uh, 9.94 GB. And uh, coming back to the model card, let's quickly go over what they talk about this model. So, uh, GPT Neo 2.7b is a transformer model designed using Eleuthera AIS replication of the GPT 3 architecture. Uh, GPT Neo refers to the class of models, and 2.7b represents the number of parameters of this particular. Uh, pre-trained model uh, and uh, then this model was trained for 420 billion tokens over 400,000 steps it was trained as a masked auto regressive language model using cross entropy loss and for the how to use this is the important part just with these three lines of code uh, you can uh, execute this model and create a predicted text given a prompt so uh, in this case initially uh, the, the first line is just importing the pipeline and then next line we are let's actually just copy uh, gay go to my vs code and uh, copy it there so here i am in my vs code uh, the first uh, in the first cell so i will the overall plan is that i first will execute the uh, the model and run the and get my prediction generate the text by following the official documentation and bringing the model from the uh, official repository of hugging face and then i will download the model file into my local machine and run locally uh, so uh, i'm so these three lines is just i'm um, copying and pasting from the official documentation uh, this one uh, so in the next line in, in this line here i'm just creating uh, these uh, model instance and this line will actually to execute this line you will need almost like i think uh, uh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes because uh, it will need to pull the entire 10 gb data uh, containing the pre-trained model and then in the next line here this is just a random text that i'm giving as a prompt and uh, the job of the, the the model is to take this prompt and complete a sentence with a max length of 50 because in the next line here uh, race equal to generator then prompt max length i'm actually defining what will be the output length of the text that is output text and um, then i'm just printing the text that's all i'm doing actually i just uh, changed the text that is a prompt text to bitcoin prices in 2022 is uh, that will make more sense and also another point when it uh, downloads a 10 gb model it will save in your i'm i'm in my linux ubuntu environment and here in the ubuntu environment it will save in your uh, home directories dot cache then hugging face then then transformer so if you're not sure that uh, uh, where the model is being saved this is the location in your local machine that's where uh, the model will be pulled from hugging face and when i ran this uh, line i got uh, this output that is uh, this line generator uh, bitcoin prices in 2022 is and then max length min length uh, it gave me this output this is the generated text um, so the whole output comes as a list and within the list i have a dict and the key of the dict is generated text and if you read the text it says bitcoin prices in 2022 is uh, set at 22000 if bitcoin stays at that level in the coming 10 years it could exceed the prices of gold to become the second largest store of value in the world after the us dollar according to a recent report by the block for the first time blockchain technology has been used to calculate the prices of bitcoin in real time all right so you can see it's pretty interesting uh, text and the text actually makes sense to me so uh, that's output of uh, the model and now i want to run the same model from my local machine because sometime uh, you may not have the uh, proper uh, access to a good speed internet to have uh, to download such a huge data within half an hour or so 
so what I did, I just uh, downloaded uh, one of the files. So let's uh, see what I did. So you go to files folder. And uh, what I did is I just downloaded a uh, single model PyTorch one. So you can download actually this model supports PyTorch, uh, Jax and Rust. All these three uh, environment and framework is supported. Uh, so you can see the other two, uh, this flags.model MSG pack. This is 9.88 GB and also for the Rust. Uh, you have a file of 9.94 GB. But in this case, I just am interested in PyTorch model. So you just uh, click on download link and it will, uh, you can download that. But then you need the other files as well of these, uh, uh, from this uh, directory because you need this config.js and uh, margins.txt, all these things. So for that, what you do is um, in their in their documentation in their page itself on the right they say use in transformer if you click on it uh, they give this prompt that is you can download the entire repo at once but that will mean you want you will be downloading uh, all these things that is nine times three almost uh, it will be 30 gb of data uh, here you don't need that so what i did is uh, you have to pass these uh, special characters here git lfs keep smudge equal to one so a uh, git lfs is for large file system so when you are skipping that that means all those large files will be skipped and that's exactly what they say here that if you want to clone without large files uh, just their pointers prepend your git clone with the following uh, environment variable yeah, so in that case, you just copy uh, this line and after this line in your terminal, you also put this. Uh, so actually, let's see what you need to do. I'm just um, copying it. And going to my terminal. Uh, so this is my terminal. I cannot enlarge the font right now paste it oh sorry 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 i did not want to clone the entire thing uh just i think i copied the extra space so it started actually uh cloning the entire repository you paste it here and then also copy this part git lf escape and paste it after that line so when you run this entire thing uh then your uh all the files that is um from this repository, all these files will be downloaded to your respective directory, but not these large files. And then uh, you what you do is uh, you have already manually downloaded this one. Uh, so you put this this particular 9.94 GB file into the same directory where you have cloned the entire Git repo. And that's it. And then uh, you go to your VS Code and uh, just paste this much. So what I did uh, from initially uh, while I was uh, pulling the entire thing, I had uh, to import transformer. So I'm doing the obviously you have to import your pipeline. And then in this line, only thing I'm changing is instead of model equal to just the name of the model, I am uh, passing the entire directory path. So this is the folder or directory in my local machine where I have downloaded the model and also the uh, cloned the Git repository that is the uh, hugging face uh, repository that we just saw and then that's it you just run it uh, it will take like uh, i think three or four minutes to run and uh, then you pass the same prompt and uh, the rest of the things are just exactly the same so you take your prompt uh, uh, and then uh, create a variable with this generator because you have already defined the generator uh, pass your max length, uh, temperature, etc., and print the result. That's it. Now, another reason I had to do this thing in my local machine is because uh, this model, this particular model, is so large uh, that I could not run it in Colab. Also, I could not run it in Kaggle because uh, after like uh, five, six minutes, I got uh, out of RAM because it took all of the RAMs that those uh, environment provided. So I had to run it in my local machine to test its working. And in my local machine, it's, uh, well, I mean, uh, particularly the machine that I ran that had 32 GB of RAM. 
so uh, what i saw is i ran in another machine as well another local machine of mine uh, there it had 16 gb and there also i saw it ran with lot of time and with lot of difficulty it took all the 16 gb of ram in that machine so yeah so this model is a really large one and to uh, generate large text uh, you need to have a good um, you need to have really good amount of ram in your machine to execute it all right that's pretty much about this quick and short video uh, stay tuned because all my next uh, uh, few videos will be on various models of hugging face and doing some pretty interesting nlp projects thank you very much for watching